Dear brothers and sisters, so we are back again to the Night Kalam program. Now today, inshallah, we would like to share with you again about the important to know what should we ask or is there any important thing for us to ask our future partner when we were allowed to meet up with them because the Prophet Sallallahu remind us whoever want to get married with somebody it is your right for the male or the female to look at your future partner you have the right to look at each other and you have the right even to discuss matters to see whether both of you are for each other meaning we do not know sometimes just one look we do not know so you have to start to communicate but if you are serious to get married with anybody that you know you should sit down of course with the mahram around and then start to discuss about things that is important for you example if you are not sure whether that sister or that brother is a practicing uh, Muslim or not you have the right to ask him uh, no uh, I just want to know whether do you have a sound understanding about Islam no I have gone through some friend before who were asked the, the lady or the girl about do you know how many pillars of Islam? The article of faith. Very basic thing about Islam. Sometimes people feel offended. Why? Why are you asking this? Because this is a very basic thing that every Muslim should be able to, to answer. But sometimes you will be caught by surprise that even the basic thing we may even forget. They will even ask, uh, have you been praying? Do you have any problem in praying five times a day? I mean, this is something you have the right to ask to make sure that you know what you're involved in. If you know that the sister is a bit weak in this area and then they want to learn, Alhamdulillah, then it's easy for you to guide them. If not, maybe you may have some problem in the future. The same goes to the sister. Example, if you want to know whether this future man who's going to be your husband is a drinker, or whether he's a gambler or whether he's a smoker, you can know. If you know, you can even ask him. You know, I just want to know don't, if you, if we get married, do you think you can stop smoking? Example. I don't know whether it's practical to us. It's very practical because you want to have a healthy family. You want to make sure that our husband are not involved in anything that is not good. or the bad habits that they are involved in if they can stay away they can change alhamdulillah just an example because if you are not careful from the beginning then of course you are going to face a lot of problems you don't like smoke smoking and then now he loves smoking you no know? all this kind of thing also can cause a lot of unrest you know, in a family members so these are the basic thing you can ask how private is it? how private it is after you ask each other of course, you have no right to get exposed to other people. Oh, this man is not good for me because he knows nothing about the deen. He is this, he is that. No, no, you don't have to say it. It's up to you to decide now whether this guy is going to change after you discuss with him. And if he said that, yeah, he, he is changing, no, he wants to be a better person, alhamdulillah. If he said, no, this is me, you have to accept, no me as who I am then of course now you have to prepare yourself I give you another example in our country in Malaysia now if any new couple want to get married they have to go to a HIV test why to make sure that everybody know what they are involved in both party not only the male but the female too not say you cannot get married you can still get married but you know that what you're involved in now you're clean both parties is clean alhamdulillah if one is having some problem and then you still you know like to proceed with the marriage you can but now you cannot give an excuse that in the future you want to end the marriage because of this problem because you are aware of that problem from the beginning you have all the right to ask what you think is important for you you know 
Do you have a stable job now? Of course, that is your right to to ask whether you know to make sure that the future husband is ready to accept you and to carry out his responsibility. These are basic things you have the right to ask. You know? So I think, as a Muslim, when you understand the Deen properly and you follow the Quran and Sunnah, you know what right do you have and what kind of questions to ask. But even though there are some weaknesses here and there, it's your duty to cover the weaknesses of your partner, not to expose them to the public so that the public will not gossip about any party. So may Allah safeguard us and also protect us from further fitna and please don't ever expose the weaknesses of another brother or sister to anyone. May Allah protect us from this fitan if you are not careful. Amin Ya Rabbul Alamin wa billahi tawfiqi wal aqridah wa na walhamdulillah bil alamin subhanakallahumma bihamdik ashhadu an la ilaha illa anta astaghfiruka wa atubu ilaik. Assalamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.